Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to create this cool hologram effect just in a few simple steps in DaVinci Resolve. This tutorial is suitable for beginners, but it requires an access to the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my mailing list for the updates and please consider supporting me on Buy Me A Coffee. You can find links to it below this video. But now, let's move to the main part of the tutorial. And this is the clip of a dancer I will be using today. And the first thing to do is to duplicate it. We can do it with Command C and Command V controls, but we can also hold the Option key and we can drag the original clip up like this. And now it's duplicated. Now let's move to the color tab and we'll be using a magic mask on this second clip, which is the clip we've just duplicated. So let's open the magic mask tool. And I have shown you many times in my previous videos how to use it. So let's move the cursor to the very beginning of our clip. Then I always change the quality from faster to better. This is how it works best. And now we just have to draw a line over our dancer to be able to remove the background. Like this. And now the dancer is highlighted in red as my mask overlay is turned on here. So this is how I can see the selection. And now let's just track the clip. So I will speed up the video as this will take a while. Okay, done. Let's scroll through the clip. Looking good. We can also turn the mask overlay off and we can turn the highlight mode on up here. So now we can see the alpha and we can check the clip this way as well. And for today's tutorial, this selection doesn't have to be perfect, but we can quickly use a few refining tools. So I will clean black and clean white. And then I will denoise it. Okay, this should be fine. And now a very important step, as I have noticed that sometimes when we keep editing after using the magic mask tool, sometimes we may lose the tracking information. So I always like to render my clip in place. And to do so, first we have to add the alpha output in the node graph. So let's right click in here. And then let's add alpha output and then let's connect these blue alpha outputs together. And now let's go back to the edit tab. Then let's right click on our clip and let's select render in place. And here I won't change any settings. I will just decide where I want my clip to be rendered. I will just put it in the downloads folder. Okay, and now our clip is rendered. We can see a little bit of the green background here, but trust me, it doesn't matter that much for this effect. So we don't have to further improve the mask. So now we can go back to the color tab and let's open our effects and let's search for edge detect. And now let's simply drop it onto the node and this is a default result that we've got. I think it looks pretty cool, but let's modify it a bit. So first, I would change the mode from RGB edge to grayscale. And now I can change the color of the edge to anything I want, like crazy pink or blue or green or yellow. So let's leave yellow, okay? And then I will just increase the brightness Then I will decrease the edge width a bit, like this. And let's go back to the Edit tab. And here we just have to change the Composite mode. So this is what we can get when we change it to Color, for example. Quite interesting result, but it's not what I want. I want to change it to Screen. 
like this and now we can still do all sorts of things we can for example change the position of our hologram we can also duplicate it as many times as we want to okay and then in the color tab we can keep changing colors of our holograms so feel free to have fun with it as much as you want to Thank you so much for watching my videos guys, I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.